What's up YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, marketingmeathead.com, and today I'm going to talk about nine tips to get your daily productivity up to another level. All right, welcome back. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, bang the notifications bell. We talk about online marketing, uh, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, Shopify, any ways that we can make money online, this channel is for you. All right, so let's get started today. We have a productivity um, hack, basically tips that I like to give people. A lot of people ask me how I stay so productive, how I can work so many hours and still feel good and still go out on the weekends and still have fun. So I kind of wanted to go through nine tips today to tell you how I do it. And uh, you can take these tips and you can put them kind of in your own uh, business and hopefully get your productivity up because if you can get your productivity up per day you can move the needle a little bit more every single day you can learn more you can improve your businesses your systems a little bit everything will improve every day if you improve it a little bit okay so let's try to get your productivity to another level and then your daily productivity will improve and your businesses will get bigger and make more money and accumulate more wealth in the end that's the whole idea all right so the first thing I want to talk about here, I did put together a blog post so you can follow along on my blog. Uh, I did put a subsection here under categories here called productivity and you can find it there. It is the first blog here so let's go ahead and jump into the blog, take a look at it. All right, the first, uh, it's funny, I, I quoted my uh, business here, my brand for my educational company. Uh, my motto is going to be make progress daily uh, for Progress College. So just so you guys know, if you didn't understand what prod Progress College means that's my uh, business and my motto is going to be make progress daily. That's going to be over time here. All right. So when I wake up in the morning, uh, generally I do go to bed. I try to fall asleep when it's still dark out because I, I just think subconsciously your brain's like, okay, it's dark. It's time for bed. Uh, I do work pretty late sometimes into the morning because that's when I get my deep work done. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But um, the first thing I do when I wake up, I like to do a big stretch. Uh, here's a picture of a girl doing a big stretch. I like to get the full like stretch out, like make sure my back's like um, muscles are stretched out, my arms, uh, legs a little bit. And uh, then the first thing I do is I open the blinds, get some... Most of the time it's sunny here in Las Vegas. I know some of you probably live in areas where it's not sunny all the time, but at least get some light in, open the windows up. Even if it is cloudy, there's going to be light that comes in, and immediately that wakes your brain up. So that's uh, productivity hack number one is to stretch and then let the light in to wake your brain up, okay? Uh, productivity number two is to analyze your sleep habits. Uh, one of the things that uh, people talk about over time is to go to bed at the same time every night and wake up at the same similar same time that really helps like with your overall habits and whatnot um, I work late on the weekends pretty much every weekend so I have to kind of stay up late on the weekends so what I've done is I've kind of adapted that schedule during the week uh, ideally I'd like to wake up earlier and enjoy more of the day but because of the weekends usually Thursday Friday Saturday and sometimes now Sunday in the summer I'm out late so there's no point in having like three or four nights of the week where I'm out late and then switch up my schedule for those three nights and then go right back to the late night schedule. So for me, it just works out that I go to bed late, wake up uh, usually around noon or whatever. That's typically my schedule. But uh, I did put a link to a video in here on sleep cycles and uh, it's on this website called The Bright Side. It's a great video. I'll link it below in the, in the video here too. Uh, you're definitely going to want to check that out. It really understands how your body sleeps in about like one hour and a half, one and a half hour increments. And when you understand that and you realize that when you only sleep six hours, there's kind of no difference between like six hours and seven hours. Uh, you want to like either go like six or seven and a half. Okay, that's because about every hour and a half is a different sleep cycle. It's a really good video. Uh, it's kind of like based on like athletes and professional athletes and how they sleep and whatnot. Because uh, obviously they need to be at high peak performance a, a, a lot of times when they're getting paid to be performing. So um, another, another tip is not to eat a bunch of stuff before you go to bed uh, and um, make sure you're not like around a bunch of screens and stuff like I am right now. Uh, right before you go to bed, uh, that, that light and stuff is not good for your brain functioning uh, right before you fall asleep. Now before I do go to bed, I do eat some casein protein. I did put links for the casein that I use. Because uh, I do, I'm a pretty avid bodybuilder, and you need that protein in your system while you're sleeping. It takes about eight hours to digest, so throughout the night you're constantly getting protein while you're sleeping. And I do take zinc and magnesium pills before I go to bed as well. And I did put links for those in uh, in this blog post. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, number three on my list here of the nine tips, is developing a strong morning routine. Uh, my routine is very strong, in my opinion. I've had the same routine for probably 20 years uh, now, going on 20 years. 
And um, I get up, I usually jump on my computer right away. I go through my email, uh, my phone, kind of get everything caught up for the day. It takes me about a good hour and a half, two hours. Sometimes I post my YouTube video, syndicate it. And then what I do is I go down and I get on my bike. I have a recumbent bike here at the house. This was not a cheap bike. I, I put a link here to the bike. It's about $1,500 on Amazon. And uh, it's a great bike though. Like it's, it's gym quality. And I go down there and while I'm on the bike, I, I go through my Instagrams. I, do some texting, sometimes I make some phone calls, and I can do that all on that bike because it's not, it's like kind of like, put it on high at like 18 level, but I, I'm sweating, but I'm not like like running where your hand, you're using your hands. I can, do, use, I can do stuff on my phone and whatnot while I'm doing the bike. So it's actually pretty useful to have this bike and be able to continue my workday going on. So I get a nice sweat going on, and, um, and another thing is you want to drink water right when you wake up. I, mean, I make sure I drink a bunch of water. I do that every day. And um, then after I do the bike, my typical routine, at least in the summer months, is I jump in my pool, I'll do some meditation for about 10 or 15 minutes, catch a little bit of sun, get that vitamin D, and uh, it's amazing how good I feel after I jump in the pool, catch that little sun and do a little meditation. Like, it's like, it puts me in an immediate awesome mood. Like, it's amazing. You know, I've been kind of like stressed out a little bit since I woke up, I had to do all this stuff. I rode the bike, I got a little sweat going on. Um, and before I rode the bike, I, I did drink a protein shake and I did grab a coffee. Uh, the protein shakes like a whey protein so it kind of hits your system real quick and usually I eat a couple scoops of peanut butter as well maybe a handful of nuts just to get a little protein in my system um, so that's pretty much my morning routine I'll do another video on that if you guys are interested in the uh, morning routine uh, and what I eat and everything uh, to get the uh, to get the day fired up and uh, get the full uh, energy boost that I need to get through my uh, long days here um, the next thing I want to talk about on my nine tips for uh, improving your daily productivity is uh, block off some uh, cave time, okay? i put a picture here of uh, like a hipster guy here in his little nighttime cave because that's me. I do work uh, in the middle of the night and that is my cave time. Uh, unfortunately, I'm in like a services business where people expect me to get back to them. Like when they text me or call me, they need a call back. So I kind of got to keep an eye on my phone throughout the day. But at night, I can flip my phone over. I usually put on follow adder, the Captivate and uh, let, let the Instagram farm go to work on all my phones. And then I, I sit down and I'll do some deep work. I'll either shoot some videos, I'll write a blog post, uh, I'll work on a, a presentation, I'll do some, uh, you know, set up some campaigns. I, there's a lot of stuff that I do in the middle of the night. And that's what I call my deep work time. So you need to have uh, some time allocated every day to get some deep work done. If you don't get deep work done, you're not gonna move your business forward. It's that simple, okay? Number five here on my list of nine, uh, is to uh, plan your vital tasks in your day uh, out the night before, okay? I have a list here of stuff, okay? You can see, and uh, this I, I'm old school, I keep a book. Some people use their phone. I like a book, I've had a book since 25 years now, I've been using a book, it's just the way I do it. <laughs> it's kind of stuck in my routine. But you wanna put out the uh, MITs, the most important tasks. You wanna get those done uh, in, the, you know, in the morning or early afternoon in my case. And once you have those done, then you can go on to start doing some other stuff. So that's uh, one of the ways to really improve your daily uh, productivity is to get that list of your MITs, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, number six is one that it's kind of tough for me because a lot of my business is based on social media, so I'm constantly having to check it. And uh, yeah, I got Instagrams, I got tons of Facebooks, I got tons of Instagrams. Uh, I have YouTube, I have Pinterest, uh, you know, Twitter. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm constantly checking social media. This is one of those things that if I probably want to get my business to the next level at some point this year, I probably need to hire someone to be kind of my assistant and take care of a lot of the social media stuff that I waste a lot of time on every day. Okay, so this is one of those things that's on my list. I need to improve on, okay? It's one of those things. So it's a productivity killer. I did put a link here to another uh, company called Rescue Time, and this is a, an app or software that you can actually use to... Uh, limit the stuff that actually shows up on your phone and you can focus in on what the task at hand is, okay? Uh, number seven on my daily productivity is I kind of mentioned this already is work out in the morning uh, I put a picture of a girl riding a bike here and uh, That this definitely helps 100% I do cardio for 50 minutes every day uh, Generally six to seven days a week I generally go to the gym late fairly late at night when it's not so busy to train my weights and whatnot like five, four to six days a week uh, but they say like five minutes exercise is enough to give your body like enough energy to power through your day. Uh, I used to do less. I used to do like 30 minutes, and then I bumped it up to 45, and now I'm up to 50. Uh, you know, I just like the cardio. It makes me feel good. So I, I don't know. You're gonna have to play with your own body type and see what works well for you. Okay. Uh, number eight is the uh, Pomodoro technique, and this is an interesting technique. I put an hourglass here of a of a 
picture of a computer. But basically, this is a technique where you, you work really hard for like 25 minutes, take a break. You work really hard for like 25 minutes, take a break. And you do that like four or five times, and then you take a longer break. And that, that's basically the technique where you just like focus in for 25 minutes on a task, do it, and then go to the next one, okay? So that's called the Pomodoro Technique. That's another way to improve your daily productivity. Uh, and finally, number nine here on my list of the nine tips to improve your daily productivity is the Kanban um, technique. And basically, this is like using the softwares like Trello or Breeze.pm. I put some links here. And you have like a visual board of the tasks that you have to do. And then once you get done with those tasks, you move them over to like the to-do list, okay? I kind of do that with my list in my, you know, my book, and that's kind of like my visual board. But visually, you can actually sort of kind of put the visualization like, oh, I got to do all this, this, and this. So you kind of work harder to get that done. That's um, kind of associating that visual with the, um, you know, the non-visual, and it, it gives your brain a little bit more incentive to go ahead and get that done because you got to get that dopamine release when you see all that stuff done in the done column. Okay, it's one of those things I like to cross off stuff off my list list to release my dopamine to make me feel great okay and uh you know basically i just wanted to close this out and say you know it's kind of your choice to be productive you got netflix you got uh fortnite you got a hundred thousand different things on your phone you can do uh there's so many things that can you know you can choose to do with your time and uh you know i choose to do with my time my spare time is to build my personal brand and to build my uh, youtube channel up and, and build my blog up right now that's what i'm choosing to do with my free time and uh, over time i think it's going to pay off and i should have a nice uh, nice audience and following and hopefully the people that are watching this appreciate the stuff that I'm doing uh, but a lot of people you know they don't have those kind of disciplines they like would rather go watch uh, binge you know binge for Netflix on Narcos or whatever series our planet I've kind of been watching lately I watch very little TV maybe it's a half hour a night tops uh, but I know video games are really popular people get caught up in those go hang out with your friends go smoking weed in Vegas it's legal uh, there's a lot of different things people do in their spare times but if you really want to move a business forward, you need to put the time in. Uh, you visualize a jet taking off on an airplane runway, and you got to put in all that energy to get that thing off the ground. And that's that's kind of where you're at when you're building your business is putting in all that energy. Now, once you get up at 30,000 feet and you're making a pretty good amount of money, you can kind of level it off and lay off those throttles and just coast along. That's the whole idea with uh, building up a business and imp improving your daily productivity is to get to that point where you're up in that 30,000 foot range and you can lay off the gas a little bit and enjoy the, the benefits of all that hard work you put in. That's the whole goal at the end of the day. And if you guys enjoyed today, I am the Marketing Meathead. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.